for a long time, I hired all these people and it, sometimes they were contractors, sometimes they were full-time. I sort of expected them to do well and I, and I had this expectation that they were gonna succeed and they were gonna be able to help run the company and help run their department and their division. And you know, now I will say that I have a much more sort of pessimistic view of it. When it's just you running the business, you get your LinkedIn account set up, you reach out to people, oh, you, you get an appointment, you sign a client, that can all happen in like five days. But just hiring a human being, I mean, you can't even get somebody hired in five days. And then once you get that person hired, they're not gonna start for two weeks because they might have to quit their job, especially if they're somebody good, right? They're a lot of times they're gonna have to quit their job. They have to get trained. That's gonna take at least a week, maybe two weeks. And then they have to like struggle for like a month to like figure out what's going on. And then they might not even work out. A lot of you guys are at that stage where you're, it's just been you and you're so good at what you do and you're so powerful at all the different stages. But when you start to build out the team, I think it's a much longer term problem to solve. I really have switched my thinking to just assuming that they're gonna perform at a mediocre level for quite some time. They're not gonna be great. Like clients are gonna quit, like sales are gonna be lost, like meetings are gonna have problems. So at any point in time in here, like I, I, would, I would encourage you guys to think about, to think about it almost like two separate businesses. Like you've got the one business, which is like the business that you're kind of building here. And that's like the, the secondary business that is gonna have like staff and gonna have a team and it's gonna have like production and it's gonna have like sales and profit and margins. And that's, that's your people are working on it. But then you should also have like your own business that you're responsible for. And even if this thing breaks even, or even if this thing loses money, you're still gonna figure out a way to make enough money in your own business with your own stuff, whether it's tax plans on top or whether it's doing some of your own clients or something, upselling existing clients to make it work. Because when you go through a growth period or when you hire people for the first time, it's just not gonna work, right? Because like the first four months you do anything, you're just shit at it. You know, when you hire these people, 50% of them are not gonna work out. The other piece of it is too, being totally ready to fire people. You know, Amanda has done almost all the interviews for the people we've hired at the company. 50% of people that she interviews the last company had either layoffs or the company went out of business, right? So the idea that you might have to fire people, that's just par for the course, right? So I think a lot of times we're like afraid to commit to all these people, but if you commit to all these people and then they don't work out or you can't grow the business or something happens, you can't fire them. That's what everybody else does. You know, whether you have, I know a lot of people signed office space, have office space, have a team already, um, but I really, really wish I would have started to think about building up.